Hello there. Here at Party Package To Go, I rely on my Cricut Maker to do most, if not all, of my design work and printing that goes into the packages. And so I've had some questions about any possible tutorials that I could do that might be helpful for any of you out there that own a Cricut making device that utilizes Cricut Design Space. So today I thought I would run through um, a quick video on how I make envelopes for my cards. Okay, let's get to it. So squares plus hexagons equal envelopes. Got a couple notes down there at the bottom which we'll go over um, as they become relevant. So say you are building a card. So we are just gonna grab a square over here to be our card for the moment. So I always like to unlock, which makes me be able to do my width and my height to my desired dimensions. So let's call this card six by four. Okay, so now we have our card. Just pretend it's a beautiful card. This is where this first note comes into play, quarter inch. So for our envelopes, our envelopes will be a quarter inch bigger than the card and that will allow the card to slide easily in and out of your envelope. So it's a quarter inch bigger on the envelope than your card. So this again is our card. So now we're going to build an envelope. So we start the same way as we did with our card and so we'll grab our square Again, remember to unlock it. I like to change the color just because it's a little bit easier um, to work with and you'll see why. So I start with a white square and it's unlocked. And then let's make, so our width across again was a six inch card. So our envelope is going to be 6.25 wide by 4.25 tall. Again, because our card up here was six inches wide by four inches tall. So our envelope base is gonna be 6.25 inches wide by 4.25 inches tall. So here's our square, the first part of our equation. Remember, squares plus hexagons equal envelopes. Alrighty, so now let's hop over here to shapes. Let's grab our hexagon. And remember, our width on our square was 6.25 inches. So now we have a hexagon that is the same width. So I like to take my hexagon, and again, this is why I like two different colors. I leave this one black and the other one white. It's the easiest way to see the difference. So now we have a hexagon that is the same length as our square. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate that bad boy, slide it down, line it up as best we can, click off of it to see. Scooch it over just a smidge. Okay, I'm gonna scooch the top one over just a smidge as well. All right, so that looks good to me, looks lined up. So now we will select, you can do it either on the screen or over here on the right-hand panel. So let's grab our, our square and I'm on a Mac, so Shift will let me select multiple on the right-hand panel. So we've grabbed both of our hexagons and our square. So now it's all connected. Now we don't, we don't necessarily even need to group it. Let's just hop down here to the weld tool. We hit weld and now we have one shape. That's the base for the first part of our envelope. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna grab another hexagon. This time we are gonna rotate this bad boy 90 degrees. It's gonna do a little flip flop. And now we're still working with width, which actually is our height. So 4.25 inches. Rock on, then we're gonna drag it over here to the side. So now we're gonna set that there, click off of it. We're gonna scotch it just a little bit more. All right, cool. Duplicate it like we did last time. Move it over here to the right side. Click off of it. Oh, gotta adjust it just a smidge. Okay, looks good. Same thing, right hand side panel. Grab your first hexagon, grab your second one, grab your weld result. And we're gonna go down here again, weld. Boom, now we have the makings of what looks like an envelope. 
Last thing we have to remember to do is add our score lines in to make it easier for you to fold the pieces, the flaps, I should say, over um, once it's been cut. So back to shapes. Let's grab this score line. And again, this is 4.25 inches tall on this one. So 4.25. All right, and we're gonna drag this guy to the corners here. Right click, duplicate. Slide it on over to the right side. Now we've got two score lines. Pop back over here to shapes. Grab another score line. Rotate 90 degrees. And this length up here that we want is 6.25 inches. Remember, quarter inch over your card size. Folded card size, I should say, once you folded your card in half. All right, duplicate. Drag her down. Beautiful. Now, over here, again, we're gonna grab our score lines. One, two, three, four. This time, group these up here. Then, go ahead and select your weld result. Group, now your grouped score lines, your grouped envelope base. We've got it as a group. Now, we wanna go down here to this paper clip and attach it. So, what that does, when we go to make it, it's gonna take a second, is our score lines are now attached and will be scored on our cut. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, cool. So you see squares plus hexagons plus the little score lines will equal your envelope. So again, first note, your folded card size, whatever it is, you want your envelope base, which is the center that you started with, to be a quarter inch larger each direction. And I promise you, it will slide in and out of the envelope, no problem. Second note, paper wrong side up on cutting mat. So say this was a piece of card stock that you're cutting. One side has a pattern print on it and the other side is blank. You actually want the white side up when you put it on your cutting mat. So when the score lines go in, and you peel your, your page off of your cutting mat, You are, the paper naturally wants to fold into itself on the white side, leaving um, a cleaner look and easier fold for you um, on the printed side. So that, my friends, is how I make envelopes for my custom cards. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.